Whether you're new to Football Manager or you're just struggling adapting to that new UI in FM26, I'm here to give you a little guide as to how the UI works. Now, this isn't going to be a review of the UI. I have some reservations about aspects of it, but it's just going to be a little guide to help you familiarize yourself with what's where and how you can get to it. So the main thing in Football Manager 2026 is that there is no longer the inbox page as your main page. There is now this overview page, which is on the portal. So we have this navigation bar along the top that we can select things from down, or we can go into the sub categories underneath. So the same ones you'll see if I press the down button, you can see they're all along there as well. And this here, this is the portal overview. We have the messages on the left. You'll see messages is also at the top here. If we click into one, we will go to the messages. We can go back to the overview and the same works for all of these. If I click into news, I'm gonna to go to the news page. So the overview page is like all of those things, but condensed into that front portal page so you can get all your information you can go through your emails you can have a look in your calendar you can have a look at the league you can have a look at your fixtures and you can have a look at the opposition report and the news that is coming in as it scrolls through so a major part of the new game is this new tiles and cards system and that's what you can see here on the portal page so all of these are tiles this 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 these are all called tiles when you click on them, they will open up either a card or they will take you to the page. So a good example of a card is fixtures, which if I click here, you'll see this is the fixtures. This is a card. And then I can just press the cross up in the corner and it goes back again. Now, in terms of navigation up in the top left here, you also see there is a backwards and forward button to go back to the page you're on before and go forward again. So you could always use that. But you can even click into any aspect of the screen. So let's say I want to look at Havenot Waterlooville. I can click on that and it will bring up the profile for Havenot Waterlooville. And you can see we've got more tiles and cards here. And, you, and actually these little dots here, you can use these to scroll through different information. We can go into About Club as well. We can see information about the club. And then all of these are tiles and cards as well. We can click into Facts and it breaks it down. And then we can just leave that and maybe go back to the portal page we were on. So we have the portal at the top here with the overview and with the main bits of information. When we're on another screen, let's go to squad quickly just to show you. If I want to quickly get to my messages, I can hover over that and I can go to messages and I can quickly get to the messages section without having to click portal and then click messages. Now that's not the only way of navigating back to your messages. If there is a screen you use a lot, you can put it as one of your bookmarks. We will come to that shortly. So from the squad screen, you can see it's the same. These ones with little boxes should be cards that pop out so if i click training you'll see that is a card that pops out one or two of them they've changed so they are now pages while they're in the beta so you might see something that was a card become a a full-on page or vice versa by the time the game comes out but at the minute those ones with those icons there's a good example of one that was a card and is no longer a card but these ones with the little icons should be a card and again look i can just click into any of these and once you start to get used to this, like it becomes very easy. And you, let's say I want to go look at injuries and you thought like, okay, where can I find this information? We can go into the discipline there. There is more here as well. There are extra things on the left here. And sometimes these are the things. So anything that's on any of these tiles or cards, you can often find in one of these screens. It might be on one of the other screens as well, but you can often find it here. And once you start to get used to where they are, it becomes a little bit easier. So the post is gonna cover all our news that's coming in, our fixtures, our calendar, and the news about the everything that's going on. Our squad is gonna cover everything to do with our squad. So things like the squad feedback, the discipline, the training, the dynamics between the teams, the medical center, all those kind of things are gonna be in here as well as your youth setup as well. Squad registration and squad numbers are also here, promises, targets, anything to do with dealing with like the personal matters of the squad outside of transfers and contracts is gonna be here on the squad section. Recruitment deals primarily with buying players, selling players, loaning players in and out, scouting for players, and all of those same things, but for staff. So all your staff stuff is also gonna be in there. And there's lots of little tiles and cards and ways you can do that that we'll cover in a different video at a different time. But again, you can go here and you can obviously go along the top and check any of these out. Match day is where you're gonna to start to focus on your tactics and your opposition instructions, your set pieces, Everything like that happens in this screen and you can go in and you can also go. So the fixture schedule is shown here. So you can see the fixtures that are coming up. Actually, I clicked on Granada there, but you can click on the fixture schedule as well. So you can see, you can go to the, so you can go to the pages of other things from this page. 
Then we have club, which is all the club information, the finances, the relationship with the board, the club vision, everything like that you can find on this screen. There is also you can find your list of staff, everything like that is here. And finally, career is sort of about you, your profile, your history, your contract, your badges as you develop those, uh, where you've been, job vacancies as well in case you want to take on other jobs. Now, that bar along the top and these tunnel of cards are not the only ways of navigating. And the sooner you realize there's lots of different ways you can navigate, the easier it's going to be for you to find your way around the menu. So the second thing you can do is use this search bar. And the search bar is really useful when you're just learning out. Let's say you don't know where something is. So it might be you don't know, for example, where opposition instructions are. You can type it in here. You can choose it there. You've also got FMPD, which will tell you a little bit more about it. But you can go to your opposition instructions straight from using that search bar. The search bar will also search for things in your email. So that's another way you can find things quickly that you have talked about with people before. If you want to get to a particular league or competition quickly, you can press the world button there and you can go and you can find the one you want. Let's say we want to get to the Champions League. We can go there. Or let's say we want to get to the Premier League. We can go here. We can click on the Premier League and we're straight into it. We want to look at Arsenal. We can click on that. We're into it. We want to look at the team of Arsenal. We click on that. We're into it. That might be a few clicks, but equally I could just type in Arsenal at the top and I could just go straight there. Clicking on the date and time also takes you to the calendar so you can find that if you're looking for where the calendar is. And obviously you can have your tra general training and fixtures are all within that. And then underneath that, and this is something I think people need to get to used to using, is the bookmarks. And you can set these yourself. So the things you think you want to use the most, set them here. So if you don't want set pieces or you don't want transfer activity or the camp competition or the calendar some of these things are going to be on your overview page so maybe you don't want those maybe you want the data hub because the data hub is a little bit tricky to find you can add that in there maybe you want to add in training because you like to do training maybe you want to add in your youth setup because you want to check that so you can do those things so we can go to the data hub we haven't actually used the data hub yet but obviously when i've played a few games i can come to this data hub and i can have a look through at all the analysis set piece analysis key findings all those kind of things so yeah those everything is in there it takes a little bit of getting used to playing the game and, and, and navigating through and going through your emails. You can use shortcuts. You can use the up and down keys to go through your emails. You can press up just to go for, up through all your emails. If you want, you don't want to read all your emails, just mark them all as red. And then when you're ready, you can press spacebar as your continue button. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with how to navigate the new UI in Football Manager 2026. If you've got any questions, put them down below. If there's a guide on something else you would like, let me know down below. I will be giving my thoughts on the UI at some point. I'm hopeful that there are going to be a few changes before we get out of the beta and into the full release. But we'll see, I guess, if you're watching this later in the year, you already know if it has changed. But if you want to see some more of my guides, I'm going to have some more over here on the screen. Check some of these out. Familiarize yourself with the new game. It is a learning curve. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.